Scratch disk only saves temporary files. It's not used for permanent storage. And the files being saved onto it aren't very processor reliant. We don't need all that power from the processor to read and write the data. So those files, which pretty much is the video editor's cache, the render files and imported video, if they're stored on an external drive, not the main hard drive of your computer, Pretty much the theory is that it will clear up some space on your computer and make it run a little bit faster so it can be more efficient and more speedy when rendering. And that's not even if it's an SSD. I still use standard hard drives with spinning disks for my scratch disks because honestly they're cheaper and you can get them more easily. Not that SSDs are hard to get, but you don't need to spend as much to get as much storage. So you can have tons and tons of video saved on them at a much lower cost than an SSD. Besides speed, I like using a scratch disk because I keep all of my video files on the scratch disk too, which means I can just take that hard drive with me, plug it into pretty much any Mac computer with Final Cut, and open up my video editing library without the need to transfer any data. It's all just saved on that drive. I mainly use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit my videos, and I'm going to show you how to set up a scratch disk on a Mac using Final Cut Pro. It's a little bit different for every program, but if you use Final Cut, you can use this as a guide. I already started editing on this computer. I have some files saved that I don't want to lose, so I'm not going to make a completely new library. I'm going to take my existing library and copy it over to my scratch disk. So most of the time, your Final Cut library will be saved in your Movies folder, and here it is. It's called Untitled. So I'm just going to copy that over to my scratch disk to start off and I have nothing on my scratch disk right now. As you can see, it is just a completely empty one terabyte drive. So that's just about done copying, and once it finishes, I'm just gonna rename it so I know which one is which, and I'll just name this Scratch Disk Library, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is basically just drag that into Final Cut Pro, and it will open up. So once we're open, we can just go to File, Library, Properties, and it will bring up Scratch Disk Library, and here's all of our storage locations. So we're going to click Modify Settings and make some folders. So the first thing we're going to do is choose our Media folder. So I'll just go into my Scratch Disk and make a new folder, title it Media, click Choose. Do the same thing for the cache, just make sure I am inside of my Scratch Disk, make a new folder called Cache choose and then do one last for backups. So I'll make sure again I'm in scratch disk, make a backups folder, and select choose. And then when you want to include your render files, I usually click include just so you have everything there. And that's pretty much it. We now are editing off of our scratch disk entirely. The one last thing I like to do is make a new folder called video files. This is optional. But I like to store all of my original media on the scratch disk itself. That way I can move it from computer to computer and I know exactly where it is. So this is where I would store all of my original media inside of these video files. And then all of these files here you don't need to worry about. Final Cut will pretty much take care of that and sort everything into those folders. So hopefully if you're interested in video editing, you've learned a little something. If you need to pick up a hard drive because you want to set up a scratch disk, I'll leave links down below to a few I recommend. I've always been a big fan of LaCie because they're really rugged drives, I've had tons of them and I've never had one break on me. But also I've had a G drive for like 6 years and that's never failed on me either. So. Either way, you can't go wrong, but G Drive has some rugged drives coming up in the future that I will hopefully be getting my hands on and that I can test them out. Who knows, maybe I may become a G Drive fan instead of a diehard LaCie fan. But G Drive has hooked you guys up with a 500 gig hard drive, so if you want to learn how you can win that, go look down below in the description and there's a link for a giveaway. Thanks guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.